I didn't understand what he was talking about. He was saying that if you don't live life, you have nothing to draw experiences from. If you don't go through ups and downs and pains and things, you're basically just masturbating for people. Look how well I can jack off. I jack off so well. I can jack off in this flavor and that flavor. No, I mean, are you living? Are you really talking about something? Are you really going through life? Are you really dealing with something that somebody can, can handle, you know? And that's, that's what a lot of it is, reflection, human experience. That's what people hear underneath the notes and can relate to. Is someone on the other side of somewhere going through something that, that they may be going through. And that's, that's the place to try to be at. You know, many people can make great tracks, but you can always point them out. That sounds like a so-and-so track. And I used to get scared of that. People being able to identify what I'm doing. So, well, that's so-and-so sound. You know, why do you make things like this? I don't know. To come out that way. It's like asking somebody to define their defecation, you know? Like, why is your dookie green? Because of what I've been intaking. <laughs> you know? Because that's what I've been going through. You know, and, and those, are, those are the sort of things that we kind of we forget about. That it's just an extreme visceral experience. You know? You're crying because you were hit. Laughing because something made you feel good. Inspiration and ingestion? All of it. All of it. And what was the first track you put out back the then? The first one I put out. That would have been on KDJ15, good buddy of uh, uh, It was Lakeshore Drive, was the name of the track. Do you happen to have it with you? You know what? I'm going to check and see. I might not have it with me. And who is this KDJ fella? Hey, I don't know. You got to talk to him about it. <laughs> no, nah, our brother Kenny, he, he's been doing his thing a little bit longer than us. He's also known as the mysterious moody man, right? Yeah, he, he is known as the mysterious moody man. That's very true. And uh, he, he actually let me put a track of mine out on his, on his 15th, on his fifth release, KDJ number five. And that's uh, Lakeshore Drive. I'm going to see if I can locate it for you guys. If not, then I have, to, I have to grab something I did in 87 or something. Some real, real... I don't know, stinky business, it's just stinky. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know. I might not have brought it, man. No. Yeah. What a shame. Yeah, man, it is a shame. It's actually not that great a shame because I, I don't like the track anymore. <laughs> And really? that's funny how it grew. Why is it? Because it's all sample based. It's basically, I could tell you, if, I, if someone can explain their song to you, it's generally something they don't like. It's a damn uh, mass production sample with some 909 under it. I, There you have I it. still like it. Yeah, it's all right. It does this thing. But, you know, as you, as you start making things over and you start realizing how limiting the, the bigger samples you take are, you know, if you're really trying to put your mark, your fingerprint, you're really having to base it around somebody else's imprint. You know, it's, it's a difficult thing to do. You, you also started to work with...